Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got an absolutely wild challenge for you. I'll be attempting to beat the below freezing point map using no weapons and without taking a single hit. Sounds impossible, right? Has anyone ever done this solo? Well, let's find out together. And if you enjoy crazy challenge like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button. For this run, I'll be playing as Yoko, who's arguably the best character for this map. She has the ability to shortcut certain tasks, and while she can also grab some useful weapons along the way, we won't be doing that this time. This is a no weapon, no damage run, so it's all about precision and strategy. Also, if you're curious about how this map plays with weapons, be sure to check out my world record speedrun, where I cover those skips. We will start off in the familiar spot where all the survivors spawn. The team eventually splits up but for now we are waiting for the gate to open. When we reach the platform area we encounter Monica and there is some tension between her and Yoko. Monica suspects Yoko knows more than she's letting on but we will leave her to her suspicions and continue our run. Once we are in the B7F East Passage, we need to quickly rush to the computer to enter the password, which is in chemical storage room. If you have memorized the possible codes, you can input them right away, otherwise the password can be found in the experiment room. After grabbing the VP17, which we are getting now, we are out of here. A couple of zombies might show up, but as long as you're fast, they won't be an issue. If you hear any, their footsteps while inputting, inputting the password, don't panic. Just run out of the room and come back. There is a first aid spray in the experiment room that you might want to save for later, especially if you plan on helping an NPC who will reward you with chemical bottles on very hard. Moving through the south passage, we enter the chemical disposal room to grab UMB number 3. The strategy here is simple. Grab the item and leave before the zombie even gets a chance to hit you. After that, we will mix the chemicals to create the V-Jolt, which will take care of the plant blocking our path. The NPC that will reward you with the chemical bottles is in the duct. Next, we need to grab valve to lower the ladder. Nor normally, you do so a frozen wrench, which triggers additional zombies. But I've got a walk around that avoids these risks. Yeah. 
So we will enter the security center and here's a pro tip. I'm leaving this room for a moment to bait the zombie outside, making the room safer. Come on now, zombie. Come on, be a good boy. I should be more afraid. Get out of the room. Yeah, the zombie will take oh. its time. Okay. Good boy. Now we're going in. In the very hard mode, the hatch we need to break through has about 28k health points and each tackle does 40 damage. That means we will need around 70 tackles to break it. But if you've got chemical bottles, they can make this process much faster. Be sure to keep an eye on that zombie. You might need to leave the room and come back if it gets too close. I can hear it's coming closer okay now we need to leave Yoko <laughs> that was a close call huh and again same thing I wait here until no the zombie Come comes in this room and then again go back Once we've broken the hatch, we'll grab the valve and enter the passwords. These passwords can be taken from the floor above. But uh, if you memorize them, you can just enter the passwords. Now we open the shutter number 17 and we are proceeding forward. Yoko's umbrella employee background let her skip fingerprint registration. So we're going to breeze past some of these tasks. No wasted time here. Huh? We will skip B5F entirely. It's too risky so there's a shotgun there if you need it. Now we're off to the B4F pathway to make our way to the low temperature room.
This next part is where things get intense. After throwing the eyes, the hunters will be awake and ready to attack. Instead of going straight into the dangerous turntable room, we are going to the security center to use a safer method. I am going back now and also will try to bait the hunters near the doors. So I take advantage of the iframes and avoid getting hit. There is a file which you find mentions how to activate the turntable without a key simply by using a specific password Enter hope And voila the turntable is activated now the real fun begins We've got 3 minutes to reach the turntable. Can I make it without getting hit? Let's find out. I am going to wait in B4F pathway for just the right moment. Timing is crucial here. By waiting here long enough, at least one of the hunters will come in this room. Okay, now just we're waiting for our hunter friend to come in this room. He will take his time and once he's here, we will run.
Come on now, ready. 30 seconds, less than 30 seconds. Come on, where are you, Hunter? Please show yourself. Oh, nice, let's go. Okay, now there's another Hunter nearby. So I just run past it. No issues. Oh, no, 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 no. Go, 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 go. Let's see what's the setup in next room. Oh boy, a hunter. Yoko dodge. Run, run, run. Now there are three zombies here. They will wake up. Oh boy. Nice. Just arrived in time. Now one thing left to do. The boss battle. Here we are at the final challenge, the G-Mutant. The boss itself is manageable but the real threat comes from the small embroils it spawns. One hit from them and this whole no damage run is over. Hurry up. <laughs> okay, one of them spawned already. The strategy is simple, bait the G-Mutant to the end of the platform and hit it, hit it with the turntable. After each hit, there's a cooldown. So, in the meantime, I'll stomp out the embroids while keeping my distance from the boss. Rinse and repeat four times and you'll be done as long as nothing goes wrong. Okay. These small embroids are annoying. It's better to clear clear them up either by stomping them or by the turntable. And it's okay to use the turntable since I'm not using any weapons. <laughs> okay. This, okay, okay, go, 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 run, run, run. Okay, <laughs> this small bastard just following me. He jumped, now it's my chance. Stomp it. Oh, another one coming. Okay, okay, okay. Jump. Stomp. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> run, 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 run. You little bastard. Okay. Killed it. Oh, the board. Another one. Three. Okay. Three stomps. But there, there are two types of them. Some of them take more stomps, I think, to die. Now just, I'm waiting for the turn table to crash it okay now again I'll go and pull that lever so that was two two more hope no of the embroids just following me okay one of them is here okay time to stomp it oh no tackle Yoko stomp okay yeah mistakes happen okay dead now i just wait for the boss oh another one okay this looks uh, bigger than the other employee okay now we're running back another employee okay. i was just looking at yoko's face you can see the character's face it will Look at the enemy if there is any enemy. It will be helpful in these fix it camera angles. Okay. Now to get this guy. Okay. okay. Just one more time. One more hit. Will will I be able to make it in time? Okay. okay this small bastard is chasing me. Okay, I have to be quick. <laughs> go, go, go. Okay, now stomp. Okay. 
Just one more hit remains. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Time to stomp it. Stomp it. Okay. Come here, Jim Newton. Come on. You will not stop me from getting this no damage and no, no weapon run. Come on. Just one more hit and I have to carefully dodge. There's two. Two of them are here. Okay, I have to just carefully dodge. No, no, I don't want to jinx it. I don't want to get hurt. Oh, this is getting intense. Oh, yes, let's go, baby. That was intense, but Yoko has proven her word once again. We've completed the no weapon and no damage run of her below freezing point. This challenge was a blast and I hope you enjoyed watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want more runs like this. Until next time, take care and keep surviving. I remember my acquaintance, but I cannot remember myself. Yet I feel something will change dramatically when I know everything.